Yo, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be uh, fixing up this little 10 gallon that I have my freshwater puffer fish in here. I love him. He's a cute little fish, and I, he deserve deserves more than just this plain old 10 gallon fish tank. So first, what I'm doing, I already did like a 30, 35 percent water change in here. Um, I'm about to add back the water and um, so what I did is this lamp I just kind of just screwed it onto the wall and uh, now I could move it around the way I want and I could just you know turn it off so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making this pretty nice hopefully it comes out super nice um, if you guys want to check out my previous video, I showed how I did this scape. It looked horrible. Now it looks a lot better than what it was. These guys uh, actually are pretty enjoying it, especially the catfish, because of all the all of these caves that they have. All right, guys. So I'm pretty cheap. So I'm just I'm not gonna be really buying any decorations. I just have some leftover grass that I bought and some plants that I bought for this tank and then like I said this lamp I'm just gonna have it like this but at least I can move it around the ways I like it what else I'm gonna be adding sand but I have a lot leftover sand from my other fish tanks that I'm gonna be putting in here alright guys so I added the sand which I might add a little bit more. I'm just gonna, that part doesn't have any because that's the, I'm gonna put a little centerpiece in there with some rocks and some plants, big plants. I think I'm just gonna do it like this, very simple, just because I don't wanna take too much of his space. He really never hides, he's always just going everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna put in right now. I think it looks good like that. And uh, if I don't like it, then I'll change it up. Alright guys, so this is how it looks so far. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I do do need to cover up those pieces that don't have sand. And, um, what else do I need? Alright, well, I'm just going to clean the glass. Um, let it settle for about the whole day. Or tomorrow, I'll show you guys how this looks. Alright guys, so we'll see how he acts by tomorrow. It's getting a little bit more clear but it's still very very um, cloudy and I just added this uh, top you could buy these at, uh, but they come like like 12 feet of length so you get a lot of it it's uh see how it collects all that moisture so it's not up in the air and uh, that's what's gonna help your room not be so humid and uh, and also so the water doesn't keep going lower and lower because it's just going into the air. Um, so we'll see by tomorrow morning how it looks. Okay guys, so this is how the finished look um, came out. So I like how it looks. I threw a little ball in there just in case he wants to play around with it. Because I feel like he's just so bored in here. I might add some small fish but you can't really add too many fish with this guy because they could be aggressive towards them and their super sharp beak could uh, easily kill them I guess so but I'll, I will find some fish that could uh, be in here with him some smaller faster fish I'm guessing uh, that school that could uh, run away from him just in case I guess what I'm looking for uh, what else this is how it came out guys so I kind of like it the sand is is pretty good looking it's very thin though there's not much sand in here the interior is because this was a pretty short video I'll feed the gar and uh, the catfishes this is my shovel nose back there he's getting he's healing up from his from his uh, cuts and all his uh, scars and then I got these guys a red tail back here 
There's that guy. He keeps getting beat up by the Oscar. Where's my clown knife? Oh, my clown knife is back there. There he is. Somewhere. And then I'll be feeding these guys too. This guy goes crazy for... Uh, every time I'm close to the fish tank and uh, he knows he's getting feeded. I just put in the food right there. And then uh, I do give him uh, just a lot of different kind of foods. I give him dry shrimp, uh, regular shrimp, uh, pallets. I just try to switch it up with this guy. And uh, but he, he goes crazy for anything I give him. The first time I'm feeding the blue acaras, and the red tail's going crazy because he didn't eat yesterday. Which is, this is pretty rare that he comes up this high. Look at this guy. Going crazy. Alright guys, so I already fed the red devils. Let me try to feed the gar. If I could get his attention. He follows me right away. Sorry about the glare guys. And let me try to feed him a decent size. There he is. And the fish will actually try to take it away from him. Because it's outside of his mouth, but he'll eat it fast. Damn, that glare sucks. But you guys saw. Let me feed this big guy. Before the red devil gets it. Yep, you got it.